Scorpio, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for August 12th all the way to August 18th, so welcome, Scorpio. Ooh, bottom of the deck, King of Wands. Time to make that change, baby. All right. Um, August 14th, Venus is retrograde and is now moving out of Virgo back into Leo for a little bit. So we're getting a time to revise something that has to do with relationships. That may be with friendships, family, everything. We're getting another chance at this. Another time to go around the wheel here, hopefully to break it. Now, August 19th on Monday is a full moon in Aquarius. And this is going to be happening in your 10th house of recognition, jobs, status. It also is opposite the fourth house. So it's a balance of work and home. It's time to make that change. Take that first step. And it's, again, it's going to be happening in your 10th house. So, you know, you're going to be out there more. You know, it, it's it's your reputation. It's your status. It's it's how you, how the world perceives you. So you're going to, you know, be out there making money moves, maybe getting a new job, maybe pushing forward that to that new job. The full moon brings things to light and it's a great time to release. So maybe it's time to leave that job. Maybe it's time to start your own business, you know, something like that. Uh, so let's get the energy for you this week. So the full moon's going to be big, especially with that Aquarius energy and all the things that are going on with its rulers and all of that. I mean, it's just, it's, it's something. All right, let's see. What do we got here? All right, before we begin, personal readings are available. I got three options. One-on-one, um, -on -one, if you're in the Fredonia, New York area, come on in. We'll do a mano y mano reading. If you're somewhere else on the planet, we can do a Zoom reading. Really easy to schedule that. Now I have a third option where you can fill out a form, ask your question, and with one to two days, depending on the volume of these requests, um, I will send you a pre-recorded, private, unlisted YouTube link, and there's your personal reading. So three options, very easy to do and affordable. Um, and Freaking Weekend is posted on Wednesdays, and we're going to do a full moon spread on that. So we'll see how that's going to work out. All right. Wow. Talking about breaking that wheel, and here it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is definitely work orientated. We'll see how it kind of blends out. All right. Now, the full moon is illuminating something here. You could probably already be feeling it. I don't want you to feel like you were robbed of an opportunity, um, that you denied yourself an opportunity, something like that. We need to stop letting our thoughts rob us of our joy also. Part of it is, you know, we're too emotionally involved in what's going on here. And you have to, number one, trust your intuition and two, get in line with your emotions because that's what makes the head go. You know, especially if it's negative. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't deserve that. You know, I told you this wasn't going to work out. You know, mind will always talk you out of what you want. The seven and the eight of pentacles here is put your energy and focus into things that are going to pay off and put in the work. So this is like getting down to it. I mean, it's in the 10th house. It's work, 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 work. And and enjoying it. Don't Don't rob yourself of your joy or let anybody else for that matter do that. With the outcome, the justice and the wheel, this is a big deal. I mean, two major arcanas right here. You put in the work, it's going to pay off. Focus on balance in your life. Usually we're focusing on all the imbalances. You don't want to do that. You want to focus on balance and you will experience that more in your life. This is the destiny, you know, that's the wheel of fortune. That's a 10, that's a payoff. So again, new job, everything balances out. Maybe you're just in the phases of beginning to realize that, oh man, you know, I, I've been doing this wrong. I deserve a lot better. I'm going to put in the work to, to, to start this business, to um, really put the effort in to better my life. You know, that's what you're going to do. I think you're going to be in the right place at the right time and boom. Put in the work. You want an, You want another job? You want a better job? Then put in the work. All right, we got a lot of oracles here. Let's see what they got to say. Okay, 
Stop focusing on challenges and obstacles and stand your ground. Now, here's the thing. Patience and planning and the waiting game. All right. Because things are retrograde, it takes some patience and planning. It's putting in that work into these. Now, look at this. Hope and solar plexus. This is right below your breastbone. This is I am worthy. I am good enough. I can do this. I deserve a better job. I deserve a better life. Lots of yellow energy, sunlight energy. And spiritual union. Okay, now something's coming together here. Partnerships. It's patience and planning. So you need to be really patient. And that's where you're feeling like, well, I'm running out of time. You know, Scorpios are going to have it now. And it's not add water and stir, guys. Not in the least. So make sure you remember that. And follow that. That it takes some time. Planning. You know, if it's one thing you can do, it's plan wisely. Pay attention to 777. That is, um, oh, and another seven, two, one, two, three, four. Sevens are lucky. Sevens are spiritual numbers. So you could be going through like a spiritual awakening through all of this. And finally, coming together. All you have to do is focus on joy and stability. Again, more yellow solar plexus energy. I can do this. I am worthy of it. All you're required to do is blossom right now and find the balance. Another two. So again, there's balance Things are coalescing. Two, two, two. This is balance. Again, pay attention to the numbers. Let's get love for Scorpio. Very powerful message. Hmm. Okay. We might be uh, reminiscing about the past. Oh, man, I remember when I did this or I had this and... This opportunity left me in love. I feel like I robbed myself of that opportunity. You know, somebody may be coming back from the past. Okay, that's all well and good, but, you know, <laughs> if, they're, if they were horrible to you, why would you take them back? That's the only thing I got to say about that. You know, it's, okay, it's great that somebody comes back into the picture, but if they're just there for harm and destruction, fuck it. And look at this. This is incredible. The seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is out again to say, put in the work. Put in the work into this relationship. You just can't sit around and wait for somebody to change. And you can't do it by yourself. You know what I mean? I mean, you have to make the change yourself. The sun, again, focusing on this solar plexus energy. Ten of Wands showing a lot of you just releasing this and moving forward. And Three of Pentacles is recognition, reward. Um, you could possibly meet somebody at work. I mean, this is, this is pretty in-depth, man. Put in the work. I mean, I can't believe these two came out for the love, too. So you want to get over this relationship, you got to put in the work. You got to get right with your emotions. If you want to... Open yourself up to a relationship. You've got to let go of the past and put in the work. Put up boundaries. Stop focusing on obstacles and challenges and start building your self-confidence up. That's what this is all about. Lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. All the sevens point to that. Absolutely. Wait. The timing is not quite right because you're not confident that you can... You deserve this spiritual union. And I'm going to tell you something. Fate is working here. So build your confidence while you can. Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Something from the past you've got to move on with. Damn. Excellent. That's pretty good. Pretty good, Scorpio. All right, let's get a closing message. Nice, short, and sweet. Let's see what it is. Miracles. Yeah. Definitely miracles are happening here. Hope, patience, joy, and stability, yes. Scorpio, you're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and are still yet to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. 
Shine as brightly as the sun. Work on your self-confidence. Don't let these obstacles and challenges and shit from the past bother you. This is the time to release it and open up to these beautiful opportunities that are, are the energy's there, but it's a choice. It's a time to release whatever you're still holding on to. All right, Scorpio, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim this beautiful energy in the comments, and I will see you next week.